I'm Sandy Charles. Welcome into another edition of AZ Audibles. I'm joined by Eric Sorensen and a very special guest in studio. Sawaro senior running back Israel Benjamin. Okay, I gotta ask, you rolled in on a scooter, you got a boot, a little binged up. How's your health? I'm, I'm doing really well right now. I have a doctor's appointment today and just kind of resting, icing and elevating. So have you um, given your partner in crime, uh, Keely Ringo, some advice? I know he's been, he's been playing some running back. You don't have to help him with the speed part. Right. But with the, the logistics and the other things that come around with playing position, have you been, been putting some words in his ear? I, I definitely try to do what I can with that. He actually played running back his freshman year and just growing up. So there's a lot of things where I don't need to tell him. But in, in our offense specifically, I'll try to give him some tips and pointers. Now you had a big game last weekend, a big rivalry game. You were a different point of view on the sidelines for this one. How hard was that for you? Oh, it was definitely very tough being on the sideline, but I tried to do as much as I could in terms of motivating the team and keeping everybody on the sideline in the game. And you guys were down 17-7 at the half. You came back, you guys finished it, you got the win. What was that like post-game? That, that, that was a great game. And, and it was kind of similar to last year. We were down 14-0 and not going into halftime, but early on in that game. So it, it, we had a similar feeling, and we kind of just knew that if we stayed and played the way that we know we should have and practiced all week, we'd be fine. All right, Izzy, I'm going to start by asking you, senior, been through the wars at Saguaro, started at Brophy. What's your favorite part of Arizona high school football? My favorite part of Arizona high school football is, would definitely be just the preparation and hard work that we put in during the off season, meeting the excitement and just the crowd and everything that happens on the Friday nights under the lights. For me personally, it's the relationships. I love getting out and getting to know the coaches, especially the assistants. A lot, a lot of times the head coaches get all the glory, but it's the people behind the scenes that are working for, for not a lot of money that really make a big impact in the program. And I also just love being around, meeting guys like you. And um, there's so many great stories to tell in Arizona. Now I'm going to do the opposite of that. If there's one thing you could change about Arizona high school football, what would it be? I don't think I could change or would change anything in my personal experience in, high, in Arizona high school football. I've been very fortunate. I went to Brophy College Prep my freshman year and had a great time there. And then transferring to Saguaro since then, winning state championships, there's nothing I could really ask for. I think for me, if there was one thing I would like to see implemented, I'd love to see you guys get a second bye week. I mean, you're, you're playing, you're doing something football related almost year round, whether it's spring football, weights, seven on sevens, fall camp. If you guys could have another week to not just prepare, but to rest your bodies, I think the AA would be smart if maybe that second bye week came before the playoffs started, because it might balance it out the really high seeds against the really low seeds, give the low seeds a little bit of time to, to heal up and, and prepare. Uh, I think what you said about the second buy is very interesting because it gives a different perspective. Uh, I know that at Sawar we put in a great deal of time in the off season with seven on sevens, yep. weight lifting and spring ball that it feels great at the end of the season knowing that we put all this hard work in and we're winning championships, we're doing well, we're getting opportunities. So I think that second bye week might help teams that don't have necessarily the same course of the season and, and they don't have the same out same outcomes at the end of the year. In this season, does a bye, do you feel like it takes away momentum or does it help you because you're healing and getting healthy for that next week? I think at Saguaro, our coaches do a great job of giving us momentum during that bye week. I, I would use last year as an example. We, I felt like we played great through several games, eight games, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then coming out of the bye week, we were just an entirely different team though. We, I think we shut out both of our opponents, our first two opponents out of that bye mm -hmm. week, and we just, we were prepared. We, we got time to rest, but also our practices were pretty intense, and I think they did a great job of preparing us. Thank you so much, Israel, for stopping in studio and taking the time today. Thank you very much for having me. That was another edition of AZ Audibles. For more, head to sports360az.com.